Algebra 2 cram, New York State Algebra 2 regions. But no worries, this is a common core cram session, so that means it's not limited to New York State. It can be used for any Algebra 2 course throughout the country. Neither is it limited to this country. It can be used for any Algebra 2 course throughout the world. So shout out to Cali, Texas, North Carolina, Canada, the UK, Jamaica, who else am I forgetting? Of course, New York. And what other state watches quite often? Mm, I don't remember. But yeah, shout out to the entire United States, okay? All right. Functions. Question eight. Composition of functions from a graphical plot. The odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is slim. So, um... What I'm offering you is a guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master, okay? But what you're going to have to do is inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com and order the complete Algebra 2 cram session. You have lots of friends who are also taking Algebra 2 with you. Spread the word and tell them to inbox me at memedicine at gmail. Dot com and they can order their complete Algebra 2 cram session. And you must do this because what I'm doing is, you know, it can be likened to sticking every Algebra 2 student with a syringe containing a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of their inner mathematical genius. I want to do this for all, all of you, okay? All right, let's get into the concept. Question 8. Evaluate a composition of functions. The graph below shows two functions, f of x and g of x. Evaluate f of g of 4. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so hopefully by now you are able to arrive at an answer after pressing pause. And if you didn't, that's completely fine. The notation f of g of 4 is a composition of, fun of functions. It's read from left to right, but it's evaluated from right to left, the opposite of how standard English is read. And in case you're wondering, a composition of functions uses um, the output of one function as the input of another function, okay? So what this means is find the value of the function g. This is our function g, the bold line. <clears throat> we're gonna find the value of this at four, okay? And then we're going to take this result and um, or the output and we're going to use it as the independent variable for the function f, and we're going to get a result, okay? So first, we're going to evaluate g of 4. And again, to evaluate g of 4 means to basically find the y value or the dependent or output variable of g when x is equivalent to 4, so that would be right here. And then we're going to evaluate f at that answer. Again, evaluating f at this answer means to find the y value of f when x is equivalent to g of 4. Here, g of 4 is 7, so we're finding the y value of f when x is equal to 7. And we do come up with an answer. So I just gave uh, the first um, part of the answer away. g of 4 is equivalent to 7. Because when we substitute 4 for x, and we look at the graph of g, our output, our y value, our dependent variable is 7. Okay, So now we're going to take um, 7 and put it into the function f. And here we see we have an answer at f of 7. So basically, f of, we got g of 4, which is equivalent to 7. Now we're taking g of 4 and we're plugging it into f, 
and obviously we get an output of 8. So overall, f of g of 4, which is um, synonymous with f, f of 7, is equivalent to 8. Okay, and you can just double check the graph to make sure that what I'm telling you is correct. Thanks and good luck studying.